<laughs> I, I was just like, you know, you should, you know, kind of countenance uh, various parties of the left and the left media and progressives. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Just make a call. <laughs> just make a call. Because why be like, oh, whatever you do, don't do this. You know, because that, that's no fun. Not anymore. You know, it's, it's, it, and it's also kind of one of these things like, bro, why even waste your time in this regard? You know, like just, just admit, you know, they're going to do this. It's going to be hilarious. So, what are you definitely going to do? What is the move that you're going to make? And then you're going to slip and fall and, and just biff it. Totally biff it. And it'll be hilarious. It'll be awesome for all of us to watch because we're going to be waiting for this moment. Like, waiting to, to clip it so that we could like have like you biffing it, you all on the left biffing it as like a, a thumbnail um, you know like this it'll we could put all these various like you know sound effects to this moment where you totally biff it what is it going to be you always fumble race politics and black men make you very nervous so your nervousness and your inability to, to navigate race politics, which you concentrate on, to the point where it's obviously pathological. Well, you're going to biff something very soon. At some point, you're going to have to cover what I, I, fried chicken man, told you is going to happen. Black men are intrinsically right-wing. And none of you wanted to believe me. And now you're learning the hardest way. You didn't want to believe me. I love it. And you're going to navigate this so bad. <laughs> you're going to biff this so bad. It's going to be beautiful. I mean, it's going to truly be this, like beautiful reel as like Hassan has to now for example deal with the fact that Hassan Piker says things along the lines of you know that the right wing and blah 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 and then what is the words he uses he goes to epithets about whites but he doesn't understand the history of these epithets so he doesn't know that what he's referring to would literally be the kind of working class people that when Marx was around, these would have been the, the people Marx would have been rooting for, <laughs> as ethnically speaking, in the, old, in the United States at that time. And he embraces epithets about them and claims he's a Marxist. And, so, and every time, that they, and he resorts to this very quickly. And then he tries to defend it in a way that, and so he doesn't really understand that the use of, that he's using is kind of this later thing that you find with collectivist progressive politics that had far more to do with fascism in the way that they believed that things should be run. And that this was associated with the Woodrow Wilson administration and the actual elimination of these kind of lower white people. This would have, this isn't ableism. This is ableism plus. <laughs> this is where eugenics came from. We talk, black people bring this up about Margaret Singer and that's, it's Sanger and that is correct. Margaret Sanger and other eugenicists, well, this was a very specific way of thinking about humans at the time. And it was all the people who believed in some form of hard collectivism. And at some point, one of the only argument, the only systems of philosophy 
that it, that that you could argue hard collectivism and eugenicizing some of the population that you don't want that was all marx at the time nobody else there was no christians that thought this no buddhists who thought this no jews who thought this um and and so it's uh yeah so i i really enjoy that you you that that hassan has gotten himself into this now you guys too you're not gonna you because you, you won't be you won't do it. You could say maybe there are political interests here that we don't get because well, we've got two guys on staff who are black and well let's face it this kind of work isn't real work. See, because that's the other thing that you guys can't do. That, that people, the, the right-wing punditry type of people, the, especially the independent type of people, they talk about this thing that is their job on YouTube or writing or something like that. They talk about it like it's a dream come true. They discuss it that way. They, they discuss it as fortunate that they could be on Substack. They talk about it's fortunate that they could have a YouTube channel. Of course, it's because it's a worldview that's very different. You guys have to face the idea that, well, no, you're YouTubers. That's not a real job. So you have to deal with then what are the political interests of the blacks for Trump? But you won't do that. You'll biff it. You'll totally fail. You won't think about this. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. Oh, it's going to be so good. Just the fumbleization. <laughs> the, 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 this utter, utter train wreck. And you're going to somehow try to figure out it'll only be two ways this works. Because it's always the same fucking song and dance. Thank you, David Carroll. Now remember, you won't know who that reference is to because David Carroll was based and black as fuck. And he would tell the Negro race what for. And David Carroll was amazing. And, uh, and, and a lot of people who will reference it, who know that reference, believe it in chat. R.I.P. David with his, with his cigars ta made me understand Maybe there's something to the cigar thing. You God, he would smoke like, was it not Chamberlain's? I always want to say Chamberlain's, but that's not the right Englishman. But he was, but yeah, he would he would smoke those huge cigars. Like you're just like, dude, that's gonna take you like at least an hour. But you know that's how he rolled. But anyway, but as he would as he. Uh, really made things understand. He's like, no, 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 the, the Democrats know exactly what they're doing. And then there's the, you know, everybody now passes around the Malcolm X quote. And, uh, and so, but you guys can't, you'll never face this. You'll never face that maybe there's a totally rational argument here going back to the Wilson administration and then going, and then citing Joe Biden's actual known history in the party. Every, I don't understand how people act like, like, where did you think, wh wh what, he just suddenly wasn't Joe Biden? <laughs> like, I mean, like, I, I just never got, I didn't get it. Never got, like, what kind of fucking mojo does this dude have over the party that it's like, because, I mean, there was just no reason to have him in as VP. It didn't make any fucking sense. And so, it, but, it, yeah. Never, I never fucking got it. Never got it. Um, <laughs> it's like one of these people who's like kind of no, notorious for what we would, uh, the people who know this would know the reference to the Southies. That, that he's kind of one of those figures. He was like one of those kind of people. Like that, that is, well, you know, the, the Irish community just, they're just very tight knit, you see. <laughs> It's not that in the north there's actually a lot of racial tension, you know. It's like you see, no, and he was even more like, well, you see, in the north there's racial tension between the Irish and the blacks. <laughs> and me, people might think, oh, he was being frank. At the time, that's not what people thought. 
you know, and they didn't want to hear that, you know, that's, that, that wasn't, it wasn't appropriate, and it was really, it was considered not, not really appropriate, it was, uh, he just, and yeah, and then he was also a notorious liar, you know, that, that was then the other thing about him that made him not serious, is that he was this, no, he's notorious asshat of the party, and it's just amazing, like, how all these young people got just totally bamboozled, all these millennials got fucking bamboozled that they were like, Bernie, yeah, he's going to make it. Bernie's getting all the popular support. And, you know, and then you're kind of seeing uh, what's her face, Tulsi, also getting popular support. Then what happens? Oh, no, it's going to be Grandma Clinton. And then it's going to be fucking old Glass Joe here. And <laughs> just, it's just great. Just great. And, and so now you have this party that doesn't respond to you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, they just choose who they want. They, they, they're a mess, obviously. It's because they don't respond to the party members. So at some point, they, they, they're just having all these at, uh, competing interests who have to then throw money. Because there's no real party there that, that has interest in your votes. That, that, and then there's that whole issue of how kind of funny that part of it gets too, uh, which th there's, there's been an, enough evidence gar you know, put together that's like, no, 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 it looks like that if, if there's anybody who's, you know, that you could cheat the easiest, it would be in a blue district between Democrats. That, that, that's the way you could gain things the easiest of all. Um, and as everyone found out with Bernie. So as you try to navigate the race politics, many of you aren't going to get into this idea of building wealth, getting married, that, that most black men want to marry black women. Um, they, it, there isn't this actually such a large uh, section that is uh, marrying out that, the, the, no, it's just there's, uh, there's just swaths of black men with jobs that, that they, they, they've received no interest from black women. They, the black women have no, the culture is feminism and being single and hot girl summer forever and all of these things that they kind of got from white feminists and the Yankees and stuff that, and, and then the thing of, oh, you know, I'm college educated. I can't be with a man who's not college educated. All of this stuff has, uh, absolutely just flatlined. I, w I am going to be vindicated horribly. Black Americans don't actually make up the 16% of the population that people claim. That's not accurate. They're, they're, they're counting people who are mixed. No, no, black, black people are about 12 to 14% of the population, man, woman, and child. As the boomers and, uh, and Gen Xers start to die off over about the next 20 years, the, the, the amount of other groups that are going to uh, outpace them in births, they'll lose percentage numbers. I have argued this for years. It goes back to a number of videos from a decade ago on demographic demise that, that it, it, people who were watching it were watching it, you know, and every, people denied it. They're just denying what was... Uh, were the real numbers, the, the actual numbers. And, and it's because they don't want to consider, they can't navigate the ugly part of the river of this. They can't navigate the stream. They can't, they can't deal with it. They can't deal with the emotions. Um, so, one of the things that's going to happen is there's going to come this point at which it will be disadvantageous to try to live like a middle class sex in the city 90s white woman living fabulously and stuff like that what what inevitably inevitably because it's about status and status and evolution reproduction and that's all will matter black women will end up shifting rightward with the men because they have to. That's the that that 
the men, the, too many men are shifting rightward. And also, in black Americana and black culture, there is a re-embracing of that which is old by men. It's an embracing of especially the idea of, of stoic discipline um, and having a disciplined life rather than some kind of quasi-fabulous life of... Uh, Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Quasi-fabulous life of some kind of urban fantasy of, you know, yeah. So, it'll also be that the status will show in there will be women who are not black. Black women will see them on social media. Like, why, why don't black women have naturals? Why do they have straight hair? Because they have social media. And they, they, they see the black women, all women respond to status symbols. Period. It's, it, it is a thing about evolution. If he builds a better nest, <laughs> then I want, then, then he's obviously of a higher quality. Cal, he's, he's got a better nest than this other one. This other one has a shit nest. You know? That's, that's, I mean, that's it. I mean, that, it's that simple. It's that horrible. It, you see, the right has had to face these things. That they're in, and with religion, this is like, no, no, but religion says, and then it, the, you have to sort of hold the persons, the orthodox, and then like the, the kind of harder Jews who have to sort of take the, the Protestant or the, 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 uh, the, the kind of this new type of reformed Catholic of sorts and sort of stop them and be like, because of our religion, we don't do that. <laughs> That's, you know, like, we know that this is how humans would be all the time. But because of our religion and the, the rules of wisdom and the laws that have been taught to us and all of these other things that our ancestors thought were good ideas... We don't uh, abide by these simple ways of, oh, look, I have a fancy, I have fancy feathers. <laughs> look at me, I'm fancy feather, dude. Look at me, I'm a guy with a fedora with a feather in it. Can you believe that? I get attention from the hose. <laughs> so it, this is really something that uh, I, I like. Black women are going to respond, all women. White women will too. Educated white women, they will respond to this as well. They're going to see who gets that guy. They're gonna. They're the, women look on social media. Oh my god! I can't believe he married some fucking slut from Russia. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're in a beautiful church in Russia. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe he married some like Filipino girl. I bet she doesn't even speak English. I mean, like, do they even have electricity there? Oh my God, I, that's the, and this is why you'll navigate race politics so badly. Women, the liberal vote is the women's vote. The women's vote is the liberal vote. When women discuss men, they discuss these men who are leaving, marrying women in other countries. They talk about the Philippines, especially, especially, especially b -b 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 black American women don't seem to understand how the Philippines, anything about the Philippines. <laughs> they don't seem to understand anything about South and, South and Central America or the Philippines. So they presume when these black men marry, especially like women from the Catholic diaspora, they really think that these are women who are like these backward um, women who don't know any language. They, they, they only speak their their limited tongue they probably barely can read they you know he he had to find some some cave girl you know he had to <laughs> you know some some just unbelievably insulting and racist about or that these were women that just they, they don't have any any uh this, some quality there's some quality that they don't have that because they don't have that they'll they just give in to guys like that Blah, blah, blah. And so it's once again this way of just insulting these people rather than know there's something completely rational about what this, th this person's doing. 
which is really, that's the key thing about the right. The right had to say what, this is why the right has the point of view it does on Russia. We don't want to live there. We don't really, we don't, none of us, there's no Putin love. There's no Putin fan club. None of us are writing letters like how, how the Muslim Brotherhood guy used to write letters to Hitler. You know, it, no, it, it's, it, with the right and Putin, it's we understand his political and strategic uh, interests. There's like, Areas the size of, of practically a continent that you could just walk through <laughs> into Russia. <laughs> People could just walk in there. I mean, it's this endless lawn, you know. <laughs> like, it just gets really cold. <laughs> it's but not. It's not an endless lawn. But I mean, it, you know, the steps. The, it, it's the steps, and and they're and they're very very. There's a huge expanse. He's got plenty of problems keeping control of this expanse and in any way shape or form people don't in it americans for some reason are shockingly incapable of dealing with this on a, once they're left of it, it, it sent moderate even moderate and slightly left this can't seem to grasp do you understand how large that country is do you understand that in our 48 contiguous states, we've only developed 2% of it. Can you even fathom what it would take for Russia to infill four contiguous United States? <laughs> four, at least. It's at least four contiguous United States uh, expanses. That, I mean, that, that would take, like, another 1,000 years of constant population growth. <laughs> and so, because I, I, you're constantly wondering, like, you all, how don't you all know this? How don't you remember this from the old Cold War days? And, and us talking about nuclear war and all this stuff, and that it's how huge this, this air area is. And, and and then I'm like, God damn it! What do you guys actually fucking know? And so, there's going to be a lot of adaptation to those who end up obviously being people who, if they can cut it, as what starts to happen is everybody's fake numbers, and especially the issue of pensions and payouts to the elderly across the civilized world start to seriously have their take their toll on everything because that's going to be a big deal nobody wants to even begin to fathom how bad this could be how horribly wrong this can go with the right with the wrong leadership and uh and that everybody's going to have to just trust that you know that 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 this is something that can even be handled by our political uh, culture right now, and so you guys won't end up managing the race politics of black men moving toward Trump because you'll have to say it's either out of delu you've been beguiled, he's used his white powers to beguile you, or it's going to be that you uh, that uh, is too stupid to understand the issues. That, that fried chicken man is just too dumb. He doesn't understand the numbers. <laughs> he doesn't understand. He's, he's been beguiled by, by, the, by their, by their fake, fake information and, and, and propaganda. Da, 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 da. And I, I remember when Chank was on the radio. I was there. I remember when Tom, Chank, Rachel... I remember when fucking uh, Garofalo was still with uh, Cedar uh, on that one show. So fuck you. I'm the real thing. You guys aren't. You never have been. I'm working class. You guys aren't. Never have been. And so that's why I can call. I called this kind of thing. And I knew it was going to take time. I am actually surprised at the cascading effect. Now, this is what I really, really, I shouldn't even be telling you guys this secret. 
I don't understand what happened that made this cascade. Something in that, I mean, something way beyond my understanding from being able to look on the internet um, happened and it made all of this cascade. That suddenly more and more and more of these guys started following the trend that I said they would follow. And, and I, ha- I just want to put that out there so you can get a chance to kind of maybe get a little game, you know, sprinkle on you a little. Um, that you need to understand that I, even though I knew that this uh, demographic switch was bound to happen because of the nature, it, like especially you guys don't, you guys never, you, you're the kind of people who don't even know what the 5% nation is. I mean, even in the red pill manosphere MGTOW world, people know that these guys exist. And they, they, oh, you mean those guys, the five percenters or the black Hebrew Israelites, you know, and it's uh, the that's right guys or the other guys like Wu-Tang Clan, you know, and, uh, and but you guys don't even know that they existed. And so it was really funny when BLM came along that I'm like, I wonder what the five percenters have to say about this. And they were firmly like, this isn't our movement. This is a gay people movement. <laughs> you guys never knew that. Because you didn't understand the culture well enough. So it's, it's now one of these things that you're, you're really stuck now because there's, there's elements of this that whatever has been going on in New York, whatever's been going on in Chicago and other cities, whatever's happening in California, it, apparently it went so bad so fast that people, that the, these guys, it, all these men are just like done, totally done with you. And um, in a major way. And now it's just a matter of, <coughs> Trump's already announcing economic concepts that they will help that demographic. And there's, and, and yeah, he knows, he knows how to sell it. And uh, I would suggest trying to navigate this carefully, but I don't think you will. And so I'm going to get ready to laugh and it's going to be great.